Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, hope all is well. Um, quick shrimp video this morning. Just of how I go about making some 3140 shrimp, right? A little cheat code, I defrost the shrimp first, if you don't already have it defrosted. And I use this seasoning right here because it has the right amount of kick, spice, flavor, and salt and pepper all in one. So, a little cheap. And it gives the shrimp a nice color when I use it in salad application, saute situation, pasta situation. So, it takes a lot out of it. Doing other things to the shrimp just by using that, which is rotisserie chicken seasoning. So, Shrimp are defrosted. Let me show you how I get it done. I have this kind of pan, which is, it has a thick bottom. It's like a saute pan with sides, and um, it's very thick. It's a thick bottom. So I use this kind of pan, or you can use a saute pan, but this is just what I use in particular. So you oil it up. This is going to be a very, very quick process. So I'm going to make sure you can see. There we go. So we boil it up, nice and hot, and we're just gonna throw the shrimp in. And this cooks very, very quickly. So just get that right. Turn, turn, turn. Keep it moving. Add a nice amount of the seasoning. It's good. Keep the heat high. And in moments you'll see that this is done. This is why I love these shrimp. And these shrimps stay nice and juicy and tender. And it's very hard to overcook them. So if you're not comfortable with shrimp, I would suggest trying the size first, the 31. Get, get you a nice little two, two pound or five pound bag and just play with it, have some fun. You can poach them, you can do what I'm doing, which is saute. And that little seasoning I'm showing you, that's just a little cheap thing. But you could do lemon pepper, you could do just regular salt and pepper. You could do Cajun. There's a ton of things you can do to it, but um, if you want to get it to a certain point where you have it, you know, right, I would suggest the way I'm showing you. And then you put whatever seasoning you want. But that's it. Just keep stirring it. And as you can see, it's all already changing the color. It doesn't take that long. Oh, I lost one. Oh, I lost two. Get something with that. Right under seven minutes, some cool water. And the shrimp really don't take that much time at all. Let me rinse these. So, you know, shrimp and rice, maybe with some peppers or shrimp and rice and like some cabbage or, you know, any little quick situation like that. This is very easy to do like that. It's not, it's not that time consuming. Um, this will be cooked before your rice. That's like guaranteed. That's it. It's almost there. And the shrimps retain water, so as you can see, the water is coming out. And that also helps because that gives you like a little bit of a sauce situation going on. All right, losing too many, I'm losing too many. Is that all? That's it, no more losing. It's almost done, very simple.
very, very simple. You could do a shrimp po' boy with this, which is the bun, and then, you know, the remoulade and the lettuce and the tomato, and maybe a Cajun seasoning or some kind of Old Bay seasoning, and then you got a shrimp po' boy. And if you want to make them traditional, you'd have to, like, fry them and bread them. Totally up to you. Endless, endless options. So, as you can see, these are pretty much almost there. Keep losing. Alright, let me get that one. Alright, these are just about done. Let me show you one close up so you see. So, see? It's very nice, very tender, very easy, full of seasoning. Can't really go wrong with that. And then when you save them, save that broth so that you can use it for when you whatever you're gonna apply it to, and it'll help you a lot. Like if you've got the rice, you wanna put the shrimp. Put that sauce over the rice. You know, if you wanna saute some onions, use that to get some more flavor. Just, you know, little things like that. Little things like that. But, this is done. I told you this was a quick video. Just wanted to show you guys how to do the shrimp. And don't be scared to do them. Spend some money, buy a bag, and have some fun. And, you know, I promise you, you'll really enjoy it. But, this is done. This is two five pound bags, actually. That's why it's so much. But I'm beginning my work week, so I'm just getting things ready. And I just decided to, you know, let me do a video showing you guys the shrimp. So that's the shrimp. I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. JV, Mr. Spice. Later.